Okay, I, uh, I am in a Triassic rock area right down the street from Di Dinosaur State Park and I have found these Triassic fossils and I am calling them mud fossils. However, this is a footprint. This is an actual foot and I believe it is in an actual boot and I'm going to show this very detailed in the microscope. But you can see these patterns on the side. Now, whatever those patterns are, I'm not sure. We're going to look at them in a the microscope. You see this pattern on the top. That's the pattern of your foot. This is actually animal skin leather, and I will show that in a the microscope. There's no question about that. This is a, another interesting design element that I don't know about this, but there's a circle here, and it looks like it's crossed over and woven of some sort, and it looks like there might be some rivets or, or whatnot. I don't know. But there are things here that I can't explain. They are not the architecture of a foot. And they are all over this thing. And it looks like, and this is not, not the guy's foot right here. That's wrapped in. And uh, this is his, his, uh, his actual bone right there. And the bone black comes out of there. That's a known thing. The, the, uh, the heel is here. It's very difficult to see, and I doubt if you're going to be able to make it out. But that is the nature of mud fossils. They blend in with everything. That's the uh, calcaneus tuberosity that's on the bottom of the heel. Now, I believe this had a big bottom plate on the bottom, which was the shoe bottom. And what's left here is the actual architecture of the bottom of the guy's foot. And I've gone into this in extreme detail, and that is exactly what it is. These are the grippers that grip the, the grip skin, literally, of the bottom of your foot. And they hold it to the basement of your foot so that it doesn't rip off as you go. Now we're going to go through a microscope on all this stuff. And I'll get some little detail on it and we'll go from there. But uh, it is what it is. And that's the bone right there in the back. And, oh, well, we're going to go through this. But this is the black cap. And that's the guy's what the impression that it left on the, the covering on the top. This is the, the uh, red bed. This is the gray shale right here. You can see it under here and it's been pushed through. Now I'm going to explain this so stick with me. Alright, here's the crazy thing. This is a Triassic rock area. Now I showed this before but I'm going to show it again. Let me get a little water here. Now, what I have here is, uh, is as you saw, this foot which um, I'm going to go into detail with it. And then I also have this footprint, which was found, like I say, this is all Triassic rock. And this is a human footprint. And I mean, I looked at it extremely well. And it is a human footprint. And it actually had the human skin lines in there when I first took it out. Now, uh, let me see if I can put a little better light up so you can see this stuff. It's, it, it's, a, it's a footprint, that's what it is. Now, it got pushed down. This clay was here like this. That's what they call red bed. This right here. And it is red. And it is a bed. Alright, so that was down here. Now, above that was gray clay, which this is made of. You see here? If I turn this over, you see? It's gray clay. And that was above this. And when the guy stepped on it, it pushed it down through that red bed, you see? The gray clay is above this and was pushed down. There's a gray clay right there. Above that is this little slip of what I believe is what's called limonite. You see this? It's a human footprint. And that's the guy's little crusty looking thing in the front, which I showed you has that ball with the little claw looking things in it. And, um, and this is what happens when he was running. Let's see if you can see this. Let me get this other light. And I showed this before, but when he, look at the edges, the sides of the footprint there. You can see there's no, no little dimply looking things in it. But in the middle there is. And that's because when he was running, he hit this and went like that. And it made all these little, like what I call suck ups. These little tiny little dimply, rip, rip, but they're not on the edge because that's the t ar architecture of the way his foot hit. And of course there's the front stuff. Anyway, so here's the issue and here's the top. And this is the top of that foot and that's what's called black cap. And it is black. 
and it is on the cap and it is right here you see and that's that slip in between so now here's the issue we got Triassic rock with the red bed the gray clay which is above it which pushed down through the red bed and then we got the black cap on top that is Triassic rock that is classic Triassic now now we got an issue that lasted 50 million years from 250 to 200 million and then we're in the 200 million year area right around here this is right next to Dinosaur State Park in Connecticut now and it, which is one of the deepest rift valleys on the face of the planet it's what's called horse graben faulting the, the it's a it's a separation zone anyway it's trust me it's, it's it was in a paper by bell in uh out of yale about the geology of terrain five the hartford terrain five in a newark uh, zone and um anyway that's what it is so this is the deepest rift valley basically on earth almost or maybe and um and so all this stuff is here. So, how did that happen? How did this thing? How did the gray clay and the and the the red bed be so gushy together that they all squished together when the guy stepped on it? It all happened the same day. It's the only way I can see it. And then above that, the black cap landed on top of this, and that had to happen pretty damn soon too, because this was so pristine when I first found it that it actually had the skin prints in there. But I washed it and scrubbed it. That's what I do. I get crazy, and then I, I ruin that part of it. But it's, it's still it is what it is. So that's that, and now we're going to go look at the foot in the uh, microscope.